This time, we will be uh, studying a very uh, critical uh, theological issue uh, dealing with many uh, people's very common questions uh, in regard to um, creation uh, and also um, the uh, issues on Garden of Eden and issues on uh, Satan, uh, issues on the original sins, and so on. Okay, so now um, in this uh, subject that I uh, call the creation, creation of Eden, in English people call it Eden or Eden, and Satan. We call, those English people call Satan, but we call it Satan. As I travel many uh, language, uh, tribal people, they call it Satan. How about you? Satan. Like Satan or Satan. It depends on what country you belong to. Now, lecture one will be dealing with very basics, uh, uh, very basic uh, information uh, that I will begin with the lecture one and the lecture two will, uh, we will, we will build a little house upon that. And lecture three and second floor, lecture four, fourth floor, and so on. Okay. So the first floor uh, and the foundation instead of first floor foundation, which in lecture one, is very uh, critical for all of you uh, to understand. So I will take my time and explain you very simple way and slowly. Uh, so I expect all of you, when you teach, uh, please do that. Otherwise, people cannot understand. They cannot even digest uh, these issues here. So let us uh, begin uh, with the lecture one here. The lecture one title, as I have written here, the Garden of Eden is the center of universe. Okay, center of universe, which uh, you may not be fully uh, conceive what that means, but I will explain to you step by step. Okay. Now, with that, you have to you have to know biblically. Okay. Now, our planet Earth. This is we call it the planet Earth, where the star which we are living. We call it planet. Earth in English, okay? Uh, in your language, you just uh, find the way you should, okay? The planet Earth, our, our globe, okay, is the, the first star. First star, okay, uh, among the universe, meaning, Billion, billion stars in the universe. But our planet Earth also is a star. Okay? This is a star. We are living in a star. Okay? But this star, okay, is the first star among the how many? Billion, billion stars that God created. Then you would ask me, Dr. Wang, how do you know? Then the answer is this. Okay, answer is this. Please, ready for that answer, okay? In Genesis 1-1, in Genesis 1-1, in the beginning, in the beginning, okay, God 
Creator God created heavens and earth like that. Okay, heavens implies that the first heaven and second heaven, third heaven already existed, where God's thrones already God's throne. That's the place where. Our God dwells. Okay, so now God created heavens means first heaven and second heaven. See, first heaven, as you already have studied, it's about from this earth to around hundred kilometers. That's the earth. We call it. Bible calls it air. Air. Okay, air, atmosphere, air or atmosphere. That is the first heaven. Okay, second heaven. That is a universe, universe. Okay, where billion billion stars, billion billion stars, and third heaven. As I said, that's the place where God dwells, paradise. Okay. Third heaven, that is a biblical uh, teaching on the issue of three heavens. Okay, now here let me repeat again. In the in Genesis one one, God created heavens. That means first heaven and second heaven. Okay, and earth. Okay, this is interesting. Here. Earth, this. Earth is what? That is planet Earth where we are living. Okay, so now you can see when God created first heaven and second heaven, but only He created heavens, heavens, not other materials, not other creatures. Okay. Only he created space, first heaven and second heaven. Only space, but only material object was created with planet Earth where we are living. In other words, he created first heaven and second heaven, and also he created one star, one star that is a planet Earth star. Where we are living, are you with me? Okay, only one star. That is where we are living here. This is star. Okay. Now, then you will ask me, Doctor Wang, when the remaining stars, billion stars, God created on the fourth day, on the fourth day later, on the fourth day, you see Genesis chapter one. Verses fourteen through nineteen explained on the number fourth day, God created suns and star, sun and moon and stars. Okay, sun, moon, and stars It means billion, billion, billion stars. Okay, now put. Those stars were on the second heaven. So, with that uh, biblical teachings, we come to um, come to make conclusion that our planet Earth, okay, is the first star. When when the star the star created. Genesis one one, and remaining stars were created when on the fourth day. I hope you understand this part. Okay. Now, so we see that the planet Earth is the center of the universe. There is a key. Uh, notion, okay. Our planet Earth, it's a small star, 
is the center of the entire stars. Center star. Okay? Now, because that is the center star, God created human, okay, in this particular center star. Not other stars, okay? Here, Genesis 1, 26, 27, and Genesis 2, 7 describes that human, God created a human, okay, in the center star, the, the planet Earth where we are living, okay? In the center planet Earth, also God created later, before, okay, before he created human, he created Eden, 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 before. Okay, so now I'm going to focus on the Eden in this lecture today. Very important. Now, for our understanding, then what are the definition of Eden? Definition of Eden. It's a common uh, knowledge here. When you when you search your Google, a Google tells you, okay, you just Google it and you Google tells you Eden. Some said paradise. Okay. Some say utopia. Okay. Some say a place of delight. It's joy and delight that Eden means. Okay. Not only that, it's a place of pleasure. You Google it and it tells you. Okay. And some said a place of abundant natural beauty. The abundant natural beauty. That's all implies the meaning of Eden. Okay? Eden. Now, then you would ask me, what are the characteristics of Eden? The characteristics of Eden. Now, this is the place of joy. Number one characteristic is the, the place of joy and gladness and thanksgiving and beautiful music, the voice of music melodies. How do we know? Isaiah 51.3 describes, okay? Isaiah 51.3 describes the Eden is a place of joy and gladness and thanksgiving and beautiful music. It's our Isaiah 51 3. Not only that, Revelation chapter 21 4. Revelation chapter 20 is a new heavens and earth. Okay, in that chapter, Revelation chapter 21 and 22. Okay. Over there, he said that this is a place of no tears from our eyes. No tears. Also, the place of no sorrow, no crying, no pain. Okay? No tears, no sorrow, no crying, no pain. Not only that, no physical death, no physical death, no funeral service. Okay? That's a really joyful place, isn't it? Okay? Joyful place. No physical death. Not only that, he says here in Revelation chapter 21, 23 said this. This place 
No more we need the sunlight. No more sunlight. No more moonlight. Okay? But full of glory, glory of Jesus. Full of glory of Jesus. Okay? That shines upon, shines upon here, not only this planet Earth, in entire universe. First and second heaven, even third heaven, okay? No moon, no moonlight, no sunlight necessary, okay? When we go back to Eden, okay? No sunlight necessary, no moonlight. Instead, the glory of Jesus, glory of Jesus shines upon, okay? But not a temporally, okay? It's eternally, eternally, okay? Here, so there is no night, no day and night, okay, division. The no night, eternally, no night, Okay, no darkness, eternal brightness of the glory of Jesus, okay, dwelling with us. Of course, there is no curse, Revelation 21, 3, no curse, but blessings, blessings. The opposite word of curse is blessings. So isn't it wonderful? Sooner or later, we will go back there. Amen? Now, with that basic information, okay, now we will, we will study on the issue of Eden. Eden. So now here, geography of Eden. Before the fall, you write down here, it's a before the fall. Before the fall means before this world, before this world, okay? See, I always drew, drew uh, this picture here, okay? This is uh, 7,000 years of this, this world, but now I'm talking about here, before the fall. Before the fall, okay, how the Eden, Garden of Eden, uh, uh, existed according to the biblical uh, teachings. Today, we will, we will be uh, studying uh, in a very introductory level uh, on this uh, uh, issues here. Now, uh, the Eden, okay, Eden, not Garden of Eden, okay, now just listen to me carefully. Eden is what? Place of delight, okay? Place of delight. The Eden consists of uh, uh, different sides. You put it right down, right down on your note. Okay, I didn't write down it. Eden uh, consists of different scale, different size. In other words, big Eden, medium size Eden, and small size Eden, and very small size of Eden. Okay, the Eden consists of different scale. Are you with me? This is important concept here, okay? It's not a single Eden. Eden has a different level of size. Okay, now, according to my study, okay, this is uh, uh, my understanding and my 
uh, I would say uh, my way of uh, interpreting the Bible. Okay, so here, Eden, the largest Eden, okay, is a largest Eden. I will call the wide area Eden. That's a wide area of Eden. That is, Bible said here in here Revelation twenty one sixteen said. You see, Revelation twenty one sixteen is John saw New Jerusalem. Okay. Uh, New Jerusalem. John saw New Jerusalem after the 7,000 years. Okay. The, at the end of the 7,000 years, this world after the judgment. Okay. And John saw New, New Jerusalem. The size of New Jerusalem was here, Revelation 21, 16 said that in our a uh, kilometer, it's 2,400 kilometer, 2,400 kilometer, even high, 2,400 kilometer. It's a cubic form, okay? You see? Uh, the width and uh, width and length and height. Yeah. It's a cubic form. 2,400 kilometers. John saw that. Okay. So I interpret that numerical number as it is. You write that down. Because some people say it's, it's symbolic. Some say that it's a symbolic. It's, that represents the big size. But no, it's not. I just uh, interpret it as literal kilometer. 2,400 kilometer. Okay? Now, so then John said that a new Jerusalem, he said that, new Jerusalem. Okay? So that new Jerusalem, he calls a new Jerusalem. That new Jerusalem I would say it's a wide area Eden. Okay, you put down here, New Jerusalem. New Jerusalem, it's wide area. Okay, now, then, then, after the fall of Adam, listen to me carefully from now here, after the fall of Adam, what had happened to this planet Earth that God created earthquake, okay? Many, many, many times, even Noah's flood time as well, even up to today, frequent earthquake uh, took place, okay? After the fall of Adam, so, Original New Jerusalem had been de deformed. Okay, de you, do you know the meaning of deformed? It's been changed, so we cannot we cannot identify that uh, original original why the area at New Jerusalem, but after the end of the this 7,000 years, John saw that now God created, God created new Jerusalem. In other words, that at the end of the 7,000 years, that original, original wide area Eden will come back. Original. Okay, so according to John said that original 2,400 kilometers cubic, okay, now it will be, it will come back again. So 
then my question is this: Then where where this original uh, two thousand four hundred New Jerusalem in this planet Earth, in this planet Earth, and I would say this today. It's a, the Middle East, Middle East, okay, uh, locating right here. The center is Canaan, Israel, right here, okay. This is the center place, and Istanbul to Tehran is around 2,400. And from Tehran to Dubai, Around 2,400. Okay. From Dubai in the middle is Mecca and Dubai to Sudan, corner of Sudan, Libya and Egypt. That corner. That's around 2,400. From here to Istanbul is 2,400. That's square. Okay. So this square we may, may be the original, okay? Original wide, wide area Eden. However, because of the fall of Adam, the land structure, land shape has been deformed However, the original, the white area, Eden, must be around there. Must be around there. With the center of here, it land of Canaan. Okay, because we will be, you will be learning later more detail on land of Canaan. Okay, and Jerusalem. You will be learning more and more. But let me say again, we are just guessing that today's Middle Eastern, Middle East, okay, centered on this Canaan, that is the land of Israel today, okay, from here, Istanbul to Tehran, Tehran to Dubai, Dubai to uh, Libya, Sudan, Egypt, the corner, okay? That area could be the original uh, wide area Eden. That our God created. That is our Imagination. Okay? Now, with that, I say again, Eden has a different size. Okay? It's a wide area Eden. This is a huge Eden. Within that huge Eden, Canaan Eden, Canaan Eden, that is right here. That is Canaan Eden. Eden means place of delight. Are you with me? Okay. Canaan Eden. That is Canaan Eden. And within the Canaan Eden, it's a, it, it's a Judah Eden, the province of Judah. It's the southern part right here. This is Judah Eden. Okay, Judah Eden, I just draw that, okay? It's a Canaan and province of Judah, okay? Judah Eden, within the Judah Eden, Jerusalem Eden, right? Jerusalem Eden. Within the Judah Eden, you hear Jerusalem Eden right here. Are you with me? Okay. Jerusalem Eden. Now, Jerusalem Eden, okay, Jerusalem Eden, let me put down here, 
this Jerusalem Eden, I, I drew right here. This is a Jerusalem Eden. Okay? In the Jerusalem Eden, Bible said that within, within the Jerusalem Eden, it has, Bible said, the eastern part of Eden. No, eastern part of Jerusalem Eden. God dividing, God divided Jerusalem Eden into two parts. Are you following me? He said that the eastern part of Jerusalem Eden, eastern part of Jerusalem Eden, uh, was called the Garden of Eden. This is a very famous name, isn't it? The Garden of Eden, okay, located in the what part? Eastern part of Jerusalem Eden. Are you with me? So now, this part. This part is Garden of Eden. That the, the, the big one is Jerusalem Eden. Within the city of Jerusalem, eastern part of Jerusalem Eden was called the Garden of Eden. Got it? Really? Okay. Now, now, within the Garden of Eden, Bible narrowing down to a smaller portion also. Okay. Within the Garden of Eden, this is the Garden of Eden. Okay. There are two parts within the Garden of Eden. Okay. First part is center of, within the Garden of Eden, the center there, center. It's a garden of Eden, okay? And center of the garden of Eden. That's the center. That's the one part. And also, not only center, within the garden of Eden, eastern part of the garden of Eden. Eastern part. This is the center here. And then eastern part of the garden of Eden. Okay, there are three, three major um, significant okay, uh, places that we will be learning more about that. Okay, three. First is this <laughs> Eastern part of the Garden of Eden, this Garden of Eden, the Valley of Shabe. Valley of Shabe. I wrote it down here. Valley of Shabbat, it's a Genesis 14, 17. Okay. The, this one also is called a, a, the Valley of the Son of Hinnom. Okay. In Jeremiah 7, 31. This is the place in which Satan dwelled. Satan dwelled. Later that Satan tempted who? Adam. Okay. So Satan dwelling place was called here the valley of Shaba and the valley of the son of Hinnom. This is our, this is my, uh, I say my understanding. Okay. Now, where is the location? Here. That Garden of Eden, okay, the eastern part of the Garden of Eden. Now, Garden of Eden is the eastern part of what? Jerusalem. Jerusalem Eden. So, eastern, east, east, east. Let me repeat. Jerusalem Eden, right here. Then, eastern part of the Jerusalem Eden is 
What? Garden of Eden. The Garden of Eden locates the eastern part of Jerusalem Eden. Are you with me? So, within the Garden of Eden, okay, center is here. Center of the Garden of Eden. And also, eastern part of the Garden of Eden, which is right here. Okay, the eastern part of the Garden of Eden, first, the valley of the Sheba, which is the northern part, northeast part. Okay, now, second part is, Garden of Gethsemane, where Jesus always prayed. Okay? And then, same Mount Olive. Mount Gethsemane locates at the foot of the Mount Olive, lower part of the Mount Olive. So, eventually, there's the same mountain. Okay? Same mount, but uh, we're just dividing the bottom area, north, north side. Bottom area is called Gethsemane. <clears throat> now, you see here, so the, the, the Garden of Eden is, it's very critical, important area that we will be dealing with thorough uh, research on this area from now on. Later, okay. So here, this is the center of the Garden of Area. Would you write down? I didn't write down here. Center of the Garden of Area, okay. Write down number one. God put. Number one. God put the tree of life. Tree of life. Now, second tree. God put tree of tree of knowledge, okay, of good and evil. That tree, very famous tree, okay. Not only that, not only that. This is the place where Adam. Fall on that center. And number four, that, that is the place where Jesus died on the cross to restore that curse. So curse began on that spot, and blessings begin restored on that spot. So center, center of what? Garden of Eden, okay? Then we will study more detail later, but I just want to give you just an overview uh, teachings on this. Therefore, the center of the Garden of Eden would be, that is the center of planet Earth. Center of planet Earth is that place where Adam, fall, Adam was fallen and Jesus recovered his curse back to blessings. That center. Okay, and also that center is the center of, center of what? Center of Garden of Eden. Okay, not only that, that is the center of planet Earth. Where we are living, okay? Not only that, that is the center of universe. That place. Center of universe. That center. Isn't it amazing? Yes. Eh? Okay. See? Based on this, we will 
I will expand more and more uh, biblical knowledges, okay, on this um, subject. Let me repeat again. The Garden of Eden is the center of the universe, but actually with, within the Garden of Eden, the center of the Garden of Eden is the center of universe. I told him, planet Earth, planet Earth is the first star, okay? And other stars were, were created on the fourth day. Remember that? Okay. Now, here, what do you mean by the Eden? That's a, a place of delight and pleasure and joy and gladness and thanksgiving and beautiful music. No tears, no sorrow, no physical death, no more sunlight and moonlight. The glory of Jesus will shine upon eternally. No curse. Now, in this particular area, it's a Eden classified in uh, uh, based based on size. Okay, uh, here starting with the wide area Eden, which is uh, where in in Middle East, within that and Canaan Eden before the fall. I'm talking about before the fall. Okay, and. Judah Eden and Jerusalem Eden. Then within the Jerusalem Eden, dividing in half, eastern part of Jerusalem Eden is called the Garden of Eden. Are you following me? Okay. Within the Garden of Eden, center point. Okay. And eastern part of the Garden of Eden. Where Shabe, Valley of Shabe, the place where Satan dwelled, and Gethsemane, and Mount Olive. I hope you you can comprehend, okay, all these uh, teachings. And when you go back home, please review, okay, okay. Otherwise. You will not understand the, the next lecture. Thank you, Lord, for this uh, information that you have given us. May all these uh, biblical knowledges uh, will be available in our lives, in our teachings, our ministries, to sharing with your uh, children, for your glory, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen.